Hello folks, and welcome back to Silver and Forest, and yeah, let's park over here for the moment. Don't worry, you're soppy, he's going around this, but yeah, so. I haven't been up to much in between the episodes, all we've finished done is gone to Sawmill, got just enough of the planks and wood beams that we need to complete the first step, or first stage in the... What's it? Boat yard production. We also got enough floor tiles. We did actually go and actually buy some floor tiles and that. Not floor tiles, um, long planks and beams, but actually, one not worth it. And see, we're back in. And trains working again, so that's all good. Well, actually, no. Let's, let's call the train sec. Because we do have some prefabricated walls. So we've got three, yeah, three prefab balls to sell. Also, what we've done is we took the harvester and our Volvo wheel loader up here. Now it's because there is some trees within this lumber yard that we could use to our advantage. But first of all, let's go in. There's a train. So if we go like so, perhaps the forklift would have been better for this, but so we should get about was it for Eve? 6, 12, 18, about 48, 50 grand for this, so and that would be much needed. Also, we just spend money on a couple of bits like the yarder that we've got up here somewhere because I thought we could try to do a little trick off all about getting like, a yarder attached to one end to try and attach one to near the pond, but yeah, that didn't seem to be working. But we'll still keep it for now because you never know, we may need it in the future. Also, we did buy... Oh, what else did we buy? We bought some belt system, so we bought the little forest pickup. That'd be very useful for doing contract work. And also, we got the Quantum 40 kph I'll agree me, belt thingy in the bulb. That's because we do need some more ore at some point. So, if we forget a belt system, rather than have to take the wheel loader up to there, all the way up to the hills and now we can just simply get that up there and load it up onto the train itself. So we hop into the train. So 3,000 euros are prefabricated walls. So yeah, say about 50 grand we'll get from this. Hopefully. And the answer is... Fifty-two grand. For, for a second there, I thought it was let us gain money for it, but... Fair enough, so also got some money from some contracts, so the tree transport we did last episode and some rock removal we did as well. So yeah, another again a like, little bit of bonus income would help us definitely for sure. Especially now where I think about where we can start make more money and where to spend it. And my thinking is get go ahead, get the barrel production on the way. Get tables and chairs from the furniture factory and all that. So if we get those productions now, get them underway, then sell whatever we need to to the road coaster. And obviously, we won't take it all, it will take what is needed. So, at least that's the thinking of it. So, but 
but also today we have been requested to do some road rain because snow has hit even though the snow itself has recently stalled it is really icy road conditions aren't that great so we've been tasked to do a bit of road rain we've also got the snow blower so we can blow snow off certain paths and tracks where it is needed Hopefully we we'll actually be a bit more careful this turn this time. So we don't tip the entire thing over, so no way you're stop there, but so we got four pallets. But what? And what? I'm just going to ignore that. No idea what's happened there. So we'll take all this to the boatyard first of all, and whatever the boatyard does, except afterwards, we'll sell to the road coaster if needed. I think we should get another pallet. Yeah, there we go. But again, I'm not too worried about so. So we're going to get these loaded up. So yeah, so we'll get these loaded up. I should wipe out the staircase rings and all that the pepper grinder bowls. Yep, got at least one pad of each, so yeah. We're gonna get all zoomed up and sold or delivered, so yeah. We'll get it all done and I'll see you folks in a short moment. This was what is needed for the 
boot yards. Costs quite a bit of a pretty penny, about 21 grand, so just because of timing wise, of you know, we need to get a boat done by March ish time. That's when. So yeah, snow in February, and as we get into March, that's when the weather should be improving. So, if you give them a smaller now, we're not, that's the thing. I don't know even how much money we get from the boat, because we do get money from the boat, but only when it's done. I guess the difference between that and the road coaster, uh, since the road coaster is a multi-year project, it's got enough material to hit the second step. So. Hopefully that should be okay. Oh yeah, I think we'll be sort of skipping overnight. Perhaps we'll have a look at that. So, okay, sucking all of it. Got everything it needs. Enough floor tiles. Enough everything else. So. Right now, it's just a case of waiting for that to go into the last step and see what last little bits it needs. So, here we go, we've got the salt spread out. We did buy a additional weight as well. So, yeah, we need to grit the road. So, I think if we do, uh, say, around the main town area, there we go, just get all the roads all nice and salted. Should help with some of the ice melt, you know. Again, it's gonna snow and freeze over tomorrow. It's gonna be worth it. Apparently, it was, it was done or on this morning by another local, so yeah, which is all helping out because we are very much part of the community now. Move out of the way, please. Thank you, kind sir. But yeah, we did buy a few bags, so I think if we just do a, around the main town area and then perhaps do one up the highway up towards Sawmill, then one down to near Field 3 where the train is stuck at again. And perhaps then from there we could look at potentially. Yeah, I think if we do a path from get bottom Field 3 to the mining area. That's a very vital piece of road. But yeah, we're doing 10 meters just to help if just get a bit over. Actually, doesn't really seem to be doing anything. I think it's more for snow, so yeah, sure. What? We'll follow this road back down, get to our far farming area, or at least our plot of land. So yeah, I'd be interested to in see actually. I think how are our productions doing? Got a rock removal contract's good. Did put some trees into the old swim mill, so that's I mean that's 77,000 litres. The wood turner is doing okay. So it's the flooring factory, iron furnace, doing well, and of course, got no stones at the moment, so we won't. Yeah, okay, for now, but again, that's just a very short as and when it is needed kind of thing, so. I think it needs to do like 6 metres if that. So it gets topped up. So you see, we did already sort of test it, and yeah, I think it's more for snow. Yeah, I think it's stick on 8 metres, so we'll just do salt the roads up to our main farm area. I so, think you know, in terms of helping out the locals doing the town in that, am I too bothered about that? 
Not really, so we're not really actually getting money from that, I'm not too fast. But yeah, this area is going to look really nice for sure. I think I'm excited at the possibilities, opportunities and that. Yes, we could have got a snowblower as well, potentially to help out with this, but... Yeah, I just don't really see there a point in that. So yeah, we'll just use this to melt the snow. So if we, if we do that there, then I think we can actually seriously start putting the path in. Yeah, I think, yeah, if we get, it is a bit of an undulation, so we we'll need to be careful about that though, so, yeah. It's one of those things, it's like, do you, is it really needed? No, not really, it's just sort of different for the sake of it, so. Actually, oh, that reminds me, that's got the money, 205 grand. We got the wood chips. It's cold. So it's possibly actually look at more so of getting the. Um, <coughs> what was it? The biomass you can plant in. Yeah, I think that'd be a more better use of our time. So yeah, we'll get this uh, last little bit here done. And then, yeah, we'll really look at getting that biomass team plan down. Because so I should be interested to see actually how much things like the wood chips it needs. I'm sure it doesn't need a full 250,000 years of what we've got. But if it needs more down, we'll always chop a few trees down and wood chip them. That is not a problem. So yeah, I'll get this last little bit done and then we'll see you down there by the iron furnace. Written was pointless because literally, as soon as I died, as soon as the clock hit half past, half past two, um, well, no, sorry, the melt way, so I was, well, say it was a waste of time, but it did help out, but oh, yeah, temperature is, yeah, three degrees Celsius, so it should have looked like that, but whoopsie, oh well. However, so what site is done, let's go and place. Our biomass heating plant, so so it's not here. There we go. Well, it's flush against. Something like that. That looks pretty nice. 
Also, I do wonder... Is there enough space for another production? Which one is it? Perhaps we could look at something like this in the future at some point, but that's not the one I'm looking for at the moment. Even though it would be a perfect fit there. It's the all-in-one production. Before I had it installed and enabled, um, by my seed plant from Intin Silo. There we go, that's what he was looking for. Bang on there, and yeah, I think. Oh, is that actually too close to the tree zone? That is perfectly flushed. So we've got no trees gr oh, we've got one tree grown here, so. But yeah, the purpose of having it is, is basically it does all of the production space game we need. But more importantly, we can use this to get some fabric being produced. For the fabric that we supplied for thousand years, that's just over enough what we need for one boot, so that's good. Also, we could make furniture with some wood and planks. I sure want to go and do that. So we do that at some point. So yeah, we could use wood chips or straw. So actually, we'll put the mower set down because we was full about starting some mowing. However, we won't do that quite yet. We'll do that in the next episode. I think we'll start looking towards the sheep in that. Also, we've got about 8,000 litres or so of metal there. And the boat yards and the workers won't take any more. Did get a pallet that did spawn up afterwards, and we got about 2 grand for selling a couple of hundred litres of metal, and then a little bit more in the, in the boat yard. So, I think now that 1,000 litre pallet, there was something like, I don't know, like. Two hundred years left. Come on, turn around, you. Fine, we'll go around the other way. Won't be difficult. That's fine. Oh, don't you start! Ah, we're climbing new. Well, if we do this, drop you. Surely we'll be able to hitch up to it now. Yep, there we go. 250,000 litres of wood chips. Yeah, I think this is going to be more than enough for the biomass seeding plant, but you never know. Also with furniture, how, you, well, how much is furniture sent for? So I think it's up here, furniture, right? Yeah, there we go. 6,700 years at Silver Run Mart. Well, 6,700 quid. And we do have, we did have like 20,000 years of the free pranks. So, actually, you know what? No, 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 we won't do that. But what we'll do instead is we go up to you, enable planks to be produced, and distribute that. 
So some of it will, I mean, it will go to the foreign tiles factory, but the rest will also go to you as well. But yeah, I think actually that looks pretty nice. It's got a nice little setup here going. And actually, I think where we left so much space here, there is room for other stuff as well. Be a little production area. So go and reverse you in. Um, why is it not taking our wood chips? Have we done something wrong here? Sure, there will be a trigger or something. Oh, don't tell me this has to be wood chip bells. Come on. Got wood chips here. Just take them. Let's do something like that. I should do have this wheel over here. Nor the iron ore. That again will sort of thing we'll deal with in the next episode or so. I see it here, let's so. Surely, come on. So it is a bit of an awkward trigger. And nothing's happening. Let's get the Volvo here because I'm oh, so looking forward to that. So we're gonna get the Volvo and then we'll re re yeah. get the Volvo, reconvene there, and because yeah, I want to find out what's going on here. Sorry. There we go, so we've got the Volvo. So first of all we need to empty this bucket. Perhaps it was just that wielder was having issues. Hopefully. that up. But yeah, we'll go get a little bit more. So it's just in front of it, not actually over it. Nope, that hasn't worked. I'm just making a bigger mess here. Yeah, we'll deal with that later on. If we have to tip this out and then use the bucket for this, then that's fine because this is a 10,000 year bucket, so. Please work now. That's yeah. it. So 
So in that case, what we can do is if we try to leave a pile of wood chips in the shed here. But yeah, also, we got way too much wood chips. Way too much wood chips than is actually needed. So yeah, we'll get us unloaded, get that loaded, and then I think that's where we'll end the episode here, I think. As a little form of payment from our help of the road grit and I was in sawmill yes we own that but also this sawmill here then they would be busy working hard on that so they said oh we've got some leftover planks that was left over by an old customer who actually was meant to refurbish that road coaster over there that we're doing so yeah perhaps he may have been standing for some time but so yeah, only 10 pallets, 10,000 litres, so... But I think that's more enough to start us off, and... I completely forgot about one of the long planks that we did buy, so... I'll make sure to pick up at some point, because... I'm sure there is a production that will need that. Actually, like, should we, man? Does the... Furniture needed. Oh no, it's just planks, it's wood it needs. But also, yeah, we'll give it some wood as well. Wood turner could do with some planks, long planks, or. Actually, no, the flooring factory, yeah, that would need that more, so. That's more of the priority, I think. With the wood turner, once it runs out, I'm going to just let it run out. But yeah, so that was a bit unexpected in terms of everything. I thought, yep, yeah, get the biomass heat plant in, but then also I thought, what's right here? Because it, the only reason why I was going to get all in one production in the first place was for the war net. But actually, this could really help us out as well. Perhaps maybe we're putting like some form of fencing in, but yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Go down here. 
I'm assuming that's taken all of it. And it has only a very minute. So total in terms of the total paints it'll need per month, it'll need at least ten thousand liters of planks per month, so so yeah, that's about a month's worth of planks there. So let's go quickly start getting some furniture done. And I think on that note, that's where we're we going to end it today. So yeah, next time we will seriously start looking at getting some sheep work done in. If we can get sheep work again, yeah, if we get the sheep in this afternoon, or yeah, we would need to sell some wood though. So how much is the sheep's pen? Big scheme ones, tw perhaps 25 is enough, but we do with a bit. So 25 for 51 grand, or 80 for 65 grand. That's just the pasture. I do want something with a little barn in. So something like that, 80 sheep. I'll attempt it by this though. I am really tempted by that. Like something like that, that would look really nice. Perhaps a bit of train work. Yeah, no, 80 sheep, that would be enough, so we'll need 65 grand for that. A lot of that we could get from the metal, because they go for about 10 grand, so I think if we sell the metal in the next episode, or I'll sort of it, and then um, yeah, also because we've got the possibility of having the fermented silo, we could have also actually get in. Some, yeah, some slides were done. And then for that, that side Yeah, certain main things to think about here. Actually, it is a bit of a, not a deviation, it's a bit of a sort of different turning point of where we're going with this series. With down the sheep route. And do also get some chickens in that as well, get some eggs in. But yeah, we'll take this down to the grass field because we will start mowing this in the next episode whilst the temperature is still above freezing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for to do, hope you're having a nice day. But for now, this is Performing Voice Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.